what's up welcome back to Mina's daily dose my name is Mina if you are new thank you for clicking on this video and watching me today and if you are already part of the fam hello how are you thank you for your continued support but today I am going to be showing you guys how I got this beat and can you believe it this is with all beauty supply store products beauty supply store products I believe my makeup looks great do you think it looks great so if you're interested in seeing how I got this beat then please stay tuned guys so let's get into this beat so as I mentioned just a while ago I am using all beauty supply store products and I am super excited I spent $82 yes I spent $82 but I feel as if I got a lot of products for that price and so let's just jump right into it I'm going to be going over my basic you know face routine, the primer, foundation, blah, 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 blah. You guys get it. So I don't have any moisturizer on right now. I know my skin looks pretty, you know, glowy, but I pretty much just exfoliated today and I did my aloe vera mask. If you're interested in finding out how I do my aloe vera mask, please like this video and, you know, leave a comment. As you guys know, I usually use powder to prime and I also use primers, but today I'm going to skip the powder and I'm just going to use two primers and so the first primer that I'm going to be using is this makeup Cherimoya face primer and builds imperfections reduces uneven skin tones prolongs facial makeup so when I saw this I immediately thought about my Revlon photo ready primer which I really do love they're actually the same exact color so I was like maybe it'll do the same thing so I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Oh God, I gotta look at my And I'm really oily, so I like to, you know, prime my face very well. Consistency, it really doesn't dry down at all. It is pretty um, smooth on the face, but it feels like a moisturizer soft I wouldn't say that it really concealed now I'm going to go in with my LA girl pro prep high definition primer and I've actually seen this being used before here on YouTube so I'm super excited to try it I'm going to put this where I have larger pores so that will be on my nose on the side of my nose and then where I have majority of my blemishes which is my chin area and then I just like for my forehead to look super duper smooth. So I'm going to put it up there as well. Oh yeah. Can you guys see like how that, ooh, oh, oh wow. Okay LA girl. Ooh, I like that. Wow. Move into foundation. I picked up two products that I could utilize for foundation. I have this Ruby Kisses No More Blemish foundation, and this is a liquid foundation. And then I also have this Kiss Maximum Coverage, and this is a stick concealer, but I thought that it would look good as a foundation just to conceal and cover a little bit more even though it's a natural look i feel as if your skin can still be beat and your skin can still be flawless so i'm going to try to use both of the products and we're just going to see how it turns out so i'm going to start off with the no blemish foundation and just see how that works and then if i need any additional coverage i'll go in with the maximum coverage this is in like a plastic container you know which is kind of nice i mean you don't have to worry about it breaking or anything like that and i just want to show you guys the consistency the color i don't know we'll see this may oxidize to be a little bit too dark for me. I can like already kind of tell. 
don't know if you can tell on camera. He probably can. Y'all, it's like storming outside right now. Like, it's crazy. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely more radiant than I thought. But it is a semi-matte finish, so. Semi-matte, okay, semi. Definitely wouldn't say that it's no more blemish, like. I can still see my blemishes. So now I'm going to go in with the maximum coverage stick. And like I said, this is by Kiss New York. Okay. And this is the color. So I believe this color will go pretty well. So I'm gonna put this in my problem area. And then I'm going to put it underneath my eyes as well. Put it on the forehead. So this is a tad bit lighter. It doesn't, it looks like it'll go on darker, but it's actually a little bit lighter. But I'm not complaining because the other foundation was a little bit, to me, is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to spray my Kabuki brush. Okay. I'm just spray my face just a little bit. Just a tad. And we're just going to... Yeah, that concealer stick definitely brought this to a whole other level. So I didn't buy a setting powder for my face simply because I was just going to try to find a contour palette that I could kind of use to set my face and to contour and highlight. So I think I found that. This is by Ruby Kisses as well. And this is a 3D contour artist palette. And this is powder. You have your highlighter shades right here, and then it moves into your deeper, bronzier contour shades up there. I'm just going to use a, a sponge. I mean, you can get this from anywhere. So I definitely want to set my under eye area. And this powder, I mean, it looks light, but it's kind of going on a little bit translucent here. Now I'm going to take this yellow shade right here and I'm going to do like a semi-bake situation. I'm just going to tap that. going to go ahead and start on my brows. And I'm pretty excited about this product because, you know, I'm always looking for a bomb eyebrow product. This is from Kiss New York as well, and it's called Top Brow, and it is a fine precision brow pencil, and I have the color, I believe, dark brown, and it definitely reminds me of Anastasia Beverly Hills. It has a spoolie on the end, and then it has a really nice, fine tip here. So, I have not done a brow tutorial for you guys yet, and if you guys are interested in a detailed eyebrow tutorial, then please let me know, but just sit back and watch me slay these brows, okay? So uh, I picked up two eyeshadow palettes, Beauty Treats. These are their modern matte palettes. And I have a nude palette. And we have the more colorful palette here. It has some purples, it has a blue, some orange. We all know I'm all about like this orange right here. 
is like screaming my name. I'm like ready to like dive into it. We're doing a natural glam look, so of course I am going to be going into this palette. I also picked up another palette and this is by Ruby Kisses. And this is the Sunset Kiss palette. It's the Dear Diary series and it says unlock your story. And so this has some really pretty shimmery colors in there. I mean, you can't have glam without a little bit of shimmer. Just, just a little bit of shimmer. I thought it would be nice to have a glitter liner. So I did pick up another Ruby Kisses product. I know, they have a lot of Ruby Kisses products. And we have a lot. This is a liquid eyeliner and it is gold. So I'm looking for a goldish look, not too gold. I'm going to start with this palette right here. And I think I'm going to start off with this taupe color as a transition color. to go in with this brown color and we're going to start building up the crease a little bit so these shadows are definitely powdery but they're pigmented it's weird and the brush I'm using is a wet and wild brush by the way Perfect bit into the pile. Whew, okay, wasn't expecting that. So I'm gonna go back in with that dual fiber brush with a little bit more of that taupe color, just a little bit. I mean, it's a dual fiber brush. You can't get that much product on there. I mean, you really can. So, but I'm just going to go back and kind of, you know, settle that brown down a little bit. Settle it. That brown was trying to come for us a little bit too much. That brown was trying it. It was trying it. But I'm highly impressed by the pigment. I hope you guys are having a great day. I know that I'm having a pretty good day. You know, it is storming outside, which I'm not happy about. But, um, you know, I live in Alabama and this weather, no honey, this weather is not what's up. But that's going to be changing soon and I'm super excited about that. I don't even know when this video will go up. Um, it'll probably go up in a couple weeks from when I'm actually filming it now. So no telling what will be happening when this video comes out. But if you guys want to stay up to date and you know that was going on with me, you can definitely follow my personal Instagram. It's I underscore do this daily. And you can keep up with me to see what's going on with your girl. I'm now going to start, you know, building up that outer crease. So I'm going to go back in with that brown shade and just concentrate it just a little bit more in the outer corner. And then I'll go in with a darker shade to, you know, build it up. So now it's time for the fun. I'm going into this palette right here with all of our beautiful shimmery colors. I am going to start off with this beautiful kind of cran burnt cranberry color and I'm going to top it right in the middle with this beautiful gold color. But I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. It's about to go down. way possible oh my god people are sleeping 
I mean, these shadows, they are so buttery. Like, it's amazing. No fallout, nothing. I'm gonna go in with that gold color that I showed you guys. And I'm gonna go in with that in the middle. And we're going to see how. I'm super excited. But I do like how it gives that dimension of color. Like, can you tell? Can you tell, honey? It's definitely giving us dimension, okay? I'm tempted to just bring more color into the look like I don't think I can help myself. So I'm going to go into this color palette and I'm going to use that orange. I'm going to go in the crease with that color because for the lid, I feel like the crease is just a little bit too cool toned. Like I just feel like it's just a little bit too much of a cool tone. So I'm just going to run that color in there just to kind of warm it up a little bit. And that's exactly what it did. <laughs> so I'm going to get this, you know, it's like a red, it's like a pink, you know, call it what you want. But I'm going to get that color and pack it on the outer corner. It's just amazing, okay? It's just amazing. <sighs> now, we all know that I just purchased some lashes from my friend, Miss Lisa Marie, and that video will be up before this video. Um, I will put the iCard up here, so I was sad that I wouldn't be able to use those lashes in this video, but I tried to find some that were similar, and I found these lashes they are 3d angle lashes and they are the kpe 106 lashes and they are by the iconic iconic collection they're by the iconic collection and this is what they look like so they are super duper pretty all right guys so i have the lashes on this one is a little bit struggling okay my tear duct you know it's a little watery and so it's causing the adhesive not to want to stick, but it's okay because we still look flawless. And so I forgot to buy, you know, mascara. But I feel like mascara is mascara. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's mascara. So I really want to use that gold liner and I don't know where I'm going to use it at, but this is what it, but this is what it looks like right here. So I'm gonna try to pop it in the center of my lid. I'm gonna get some and just place it. Let me move that on my finger and see what that does. Okay, it does a little something, something. Okay, so you can kind of see that gold right there. Ooh, I really like that. Like that pop of Gold is everything. It quietly makes me want to put it on my lower lash line. <laughs> you can kind of see it there. And now I'm going to go back into that same palette. This is like the darkest color that they have that I could bronze with. So we're going to see how this goes. Ooh. See what it does. This is definitely a bronzing shade. So I feel like down here I want it to be a little bit sharper. So I'm going to go in with this yellow shade and carve that out a little bit. I really liked how it brightened my under eyes. So I'm gonna use it to kind of a little bit. Then 
And I'm also gonna use it down the center of my nose. Just to bring some dimension back. And I'm just gonna go up here. Because now I can kind of tell what's oxidizing and like I mentioned earlier, I feel as if this No More Blemish Foundation by Ruby Kisses is oxidizing a little bit. So it's causing color to change on my face. I'm just going to use this color right here. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush for this. Shimmer. It's a little shimmer here. I love it like the apples on my cheeks. It just gives me, it gives me some type of life. Okay. It gives me some type of life. Oh. Let me kit. Ooh. Ooh. Do y'all see this? Okay, Ruby. Okay, Ruby. I actually like this. It's like so subtle. It's definitely a natural glam type of highlighter. Wow. I'm just gonna go back in with that dual fiber brush and kind of just make sure everything marries well together. Now it's time for the lips and you guys, I saw these when I first walked in and I was like, Kylie Cosmetics? <laughs> what but we all know that's not that's not true but i love how they try to mimic kylie cosmetics packaging i think it's really really cute and um you know kim k and kylie i mean it kind of looks like both of them so i got these forever matte liquid lipsticks and these are also by ruby kisses hello ruby kisses how are you my name is mina i used pretty much everything that you ever had to offer in this video but i have two shades here and so this is the packaging look how pretty that is Ugh, it is so freaking pretty oh boy which is the more brown shade and then i have i'm chic which is more of this nudie taupe pinky shade and so i'm going to use oh boy on the outside and then on the center, I'm going to use I'm Chic. So let's see how this plays out. going to spray with my rose water and then I'm going to finish that off with my LA Girl Pro setting spray. Let me just let that set. I'm a person where I like to tap in my product after simply because I do want it to set literally. I said it. I assist with the set, okay? So this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I am definitely impressed with all of these beauty supply products. I will probably be using all of them again, but I am overall impressed. I mean, these eyeshadow palettes, I am 
totally impressed with. I was not expecting for them to be that pigmented, that smooth. Yes, they're a little bit powdery, but they have a great payoff when it comes to the pigment and there's no fallout, like at all. I didn't get any shadow on my face and it's just amazing. Like this palette right here, I mean, so smooth, buttery. I, I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything else. I'm just super duper impressed right now. Remember to please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me guys know if you want me to do more videos like this. I am all about an inexpensive beat. Smooches booze, smooches booze, what? Smooches booze and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.